first year here at Psychic Bird Survival, he puts the Evan in Evan's energy. Hook it up for Evan Freebird! Quite an honor to, to have the last speech of this wonderful morning. So um, it seems that just about everybody has been touched by cancer somehow, either having been diagnosed themselves or having a family member, a friend, or colleague being diagnosed. I think a big reason for this is cancer can strike at any age and arise from any cell in the body, from the top of our heads to the bottom of our toes. I was 41 years old when I received my cancer diagnosis. My beautiful wife, Felicia, and I had a young family. Leo was four, and Abigail, who I like to call Sweet Pea, was less than a year old. I was just six months out of training, starting a career as a radiologist. My cancer arose from a muscle cell in the wall of a blood vessel in my left heel. Pretty rare. And even though it has since spread to other parts of my body, thanks to the incredible rare cancer research at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, and I'm still Growing older with my wonderful wife, Felicia, and we're raising our two wonderful children together, and I'm still having a meaningful career. Since Sprint triathlon as well as 5K and 8K road races. Yeah. Uh, although these even are not finished, but they seem tougher than the triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> my, my soft tissues have been protected by a drug, olorazumab, which was partially developed by my Sloan Kettering oncologist, Dr. Tapp, and his colleagues. The drug was FDA approved less than two years ago in October 2016. And there are currently clinical trials at Sloan Kettering with olorazumab in combination with immunotherapies. Instead of treating my bone metastases with debilitating back surgery, I had single fraction high dose radiation therapy to my spine on Thursday, February 15th. This is a new paradigm pioneered by my Sloan Kettering radiation oncologist, Dr. Yamada, and his colleagues in the Spine Center. Instead of debilitating back surgery, I was back in the pool in just under two weeks. But I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here. You have all dedicated a lot of time and money and energy to this year's Cycle for Survival in partnership with Equinox Gym for this very, very worthy course. Since we can still raise funds after today's event, Let's all try to reach out to at least one more person, because chances are they too have been touched by cancer in some way, shape, or form. I'd like to just end with this note. I get a lot of my chemotherapy infusions at the Sloan Kettering site on 53rd Street. Maybe some of the people they might be familiar with that site on the fifth floor. And at the entrance to the suite is a plaque dedicated to the founders of this incredible event. Jennifer Goodman Lynn and her husband, Dave. This is an incredible legacy that she left. And let's dedicate this right to Dave's honor and Jennifer's memory. Thank you. Yeah.